there's this sense that you're connected to both the ocean and the mountains behind. I think that has been a really amazing thing for me as a First Nations doctor working in a remote community is to feel connected to the, to the place, to country. And the, the building really does that. And it's a testament to the fact that our staff are constantly fighting to come to work here on a daily basis, I think. One of the major issues in Aboriginal health is access to healthcare. If you've been to a community clinic in many places, you'll see that the space is actually one of those big hurdles for people. Often they're intimidating. It's often difficult to get from one end of the building to the other. One of the first things we spoke about with the architects was having a welcoming space where people felt like this was their clinic. And that's really important for us as a community controlled health organisation because we work for the community first and foremost. When we first decided to build this new clinic here on Workshop Street, we wanted to make sure that everybody had an input into what the clinic would look like. And it wasn't just us here who work in the clinic, it was quite a number of people across the community, including our elders. We wanted to make sure that when our mob visited here, that there was an easy flow to access all the different services within the clinic as well. The centre provides a really fantastic connection with community for our staff and the fact that they can move out of their consulting room straight into the waiting room and greet patients in the community uh, in such a smooth flowing work environment really is a testament to the stages of design I think where we've had the ability to shape that space for the place of Yarraba. We'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the country that we are filming on today. This is Gunganji country in far north Queensland at Yarrabah. We'd also like to acknowledge the historical owners of Yarrabah and the community members and everyone involved in this project. We're on the coast here in a beautiful seaside location. We're at the base of a mountain range in the middle of the wet tropics, which is about 55 k's east of Cairns. The site was an existing one owned by uh, Girini Yalamaka, the health organisation, and there were two aged demountable buildings on the site. We actually uh, were able to retain some of the materials from those buildings and return to community for use locally here. They wanted really strong indoor-outdoor connections for waiting areas and multiple entries and exits so that people could have options in terms of how do they get into the building and also to be able to respect social norms for people at Yarraba. There are in situ concrete seats outside, there are waiting areas inside and there are waiting areas in the courtyard. It's a combination of these kinds of design elements that create organic and non-institutional spaces. The decorative screen that envelops the building is aluminium, CNC routed with the artwork of Philomena Yateman and Wayne Connolly. The colour is weathered steel, but it also represents the colour of the wings of Gulula, the seahawk, which is an ancestral story from this place. Philomena's water story has been turned into a, a repeat pattern that wraps around the building through to the back and appears again in the safete, the underside of the roof of the yarning circle. It's used as both a shaded outdoor place for people to just sit or wait while they're waiting for appointments, but it's also been used as part of the opening ceremony. The log in the centre has a coolamon that sits on it with eucalyptus leaves that are smoked. To deinstitutionalise this project and make it right for Yarrabah, we thought very carefully about things like the shapes of the building and plan, incorporating curves in it, the materials that were used, so the use of hardwood battens, and on the floors using polished concrete, so more natural finishes. When we spoke to some of the female elders from the community, they talked about wanting to Yarrabanise the project. This included integrating colours of Yarraba into the building design. We have the blue of the sea, the green of the rainforest and ochres from the bush. In the interiors, these colours were incorporated into the reception counter and the furnishings. The colours and the materials are aimed at reducing anxiety and making people feel comfortable and welcome in the space. We have large glazing and louvers that open up that allow natural breezes and light into the entry. You're looking out to the views and to a courtyard framed by the artwork screen. One of the really important things about this project for us was the fact that it was Indigenous led right from the word go and that is so important. The process is what makes this building a success for us and for the community. 
even a year down the track from the building opening, we're still getting the most wonderful feedback from First Nations people in the most unexpected places of how deeply they feel for this building and appreciate it and love it. I'm actually most proud of intangible things that aren't part of the architecture. I'm most proud of the community outcomes and how celebrated this building is by community. When we ask people what they think of the clinic, the level of ownership and celebration of it is just mind blowing. We've seen people come into the clinic now after six years of not seeing a, a doctor or a nurse. And for us, that's what we want to be able to do, is to be accessible to the entire community. Uh, and really, that's been a reality since the day we opened. It's so exciting seeing people come in here every day and knowing that they own this service, this service is for them, and they are able to come here and, and be in a safe space and be able to gather and also come and see their local GP.